the short-term prescription for improving public safety is we have to have community people really engaged with. Um, I have ideas on how to do that. I also have ideas on how to do it electronically through a program that I'll call the eLERT system, which operates now uh, just in a couple of neighborhoods of Dorchester, something that I started about 10 years ago. And what it is is uh, more real-time uh, alerting of what's going on in your neighborhood regarding public safety and crime and uh, any kind of violent activity that's happening. And that's just to alert people because the eyes and ears of the police force really need to be the people who are in our neighborhoods. And so that's an important element of a public safety uh, process that will work. The other one is we need to have the police, the parole, uh, probation, uh, community groups, uh, nonprofit organizations, the school department, all working together to make sure that we are understanding of the kinds of problems that are occurring in our neighborhood and that we can head them off. Um, talk to teachers and they'll tell you they know the kids that are in trouble, the, where the families are in trouble. We need to have a, an early alert system on that to, so that we can intervene, so we can help uh, these families achieve more stability and, uh, and presumably uh, kind of not go off the cliff. Uh, that's something that we need to do. And we also need to make sure, as in the South Boston case, where we find out the detective didn't really follow up on, a, uh, on, on uh, the leading um, potential uh, assailant there, um, is that we're, you know, we're doing our jobs and there's a process for making sure that we're doing our jobs. You know? So, so that's, that's the kind of short-term solution, doing a better job, connecting everybody together, making sure that, that we're working on this collaboratively to achieve a safer, a safer neighborhoods. The longer-term solution is career academies and making sure the kids coming out of, out of our uh, school system and in our school system have hope that they will actually be successful in life, have a career, have something that they're going to do that, uh, um, that helps them feel successful. It's, it's about hope. Uh, and I, uh, I strongly believe it, and I've seen it. Actually, I've seen it in the schools that I helped to create, uh, where kids feeling that they have a future uh, are much less likely to get involved in criminal activity.